The Beginning Reader My Literacy E-Kit Hello again! We're back to our letters of the alphabet. Today's letter is E. I know we've seen this letter before. Last time, we learned about the short sound E. Uh, but today, we will learn about the long sound E. Let's start with our circle time. Hello. How are you today? How do you feel? Do you feel angry? Do you feel sad? Do you feel happy? Do you feel proud? Do you feel scared? Or maybe you feel excited. So, how do you feel today? Today, I feel very excited because I'm going to learn new words with the long E. But before we learn the long sound of the letter E and some new words, let's do one more thing. Let's look outside. How is the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it stormy? Is it partly cloudy? Look outside and decide how to answer. Answer out loud. The weather today is... Today we will learn more about this letter. This letter's name is E. E can make the short sound E. Uh. It can also make the long sound E, like its name, E. Say this sound with me. E. 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 We need to learn this letter so we can read words with the long E. You will hear this sound E a lot in English words. Can you see a big E and a small E? Both the big E and the small E will make the sound E in this lesson. Many words have the letter E. We can hear the long sound E inside words. Here are some words that have a long E sound. Let us look at these pictures. Can you say their names in English? Say with me, eat, tree. Again, eat, tree. Listen to this word, eat. Listen for the sound E in the word eat. Can you hear the long E sound? Where do you hear E in eat? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's at the beginning. E. Eat. Now let's listen to this word. Tree. Listen for the sound E in the word tree. Can you hear the E sound? Where do you hear E in tree? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's not at the beginning. It's at the end. Tree. E. Tree. Now let's listen to this word. B. Listen for the sound E in the word B. 
Can you hear the E sound? Where do you hear E in B? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's not at the beginning. It's at the end. B. E. B. Now let's listen to this word, honey. Listen for the sound E in the word honey. Can you hear the E sound? Where do you hear E in honey? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's not at the beginning. It's not in the middle. It's at the end. Honey. E. Honey. Now let's listen to this word. Sweet. Listen for the sound E in the word sweet. Can you hear the E sound? Where do you hear E in sweet? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's not at the beginning. It's not at the end. It's in the middle. Sweet. E. Sweet. Now let's listen to this word. Three. Listen for the sound E in the word three. Can you hear the E sound? Where do you hear E in three? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? It's not at the beginning. It's not in the middle. It's at the end. Three. E. Three. Now that we have practiced listening to where we hear the E sound in words, let's play a game with the sound E. When you hear E, jump up. Fly. No. Halloween. Yes. Treat. Yes. B. Yes. Eat. Yes. Bean. Yes. Tree. Yes. Day. No. Very good jumping. Now let us look at the letter E. Remember that the sound we are focusing on today is the long sound E. Look at the letter E. We saw it before when we learned about the short sound E. Do you remember how it looks? Can you close your eyes and see the small letter E in your head? Great! Now open your eyes and let us see the letter E. This is a small letter E. Every letter has a small letter and a big letter. Now look at the big letter E. Do you remember the capital E? Can you close your eyes and see the big letter E in your head? Great! Now open your eyes and let us see the letter E. Do you see all the letters? Can you find all of the big E's? Tap all of the capital E's with your finger and say E.
The capital E's are in red. Did you find them all? Good job. Now, can you find all of the small e's? We also call them lowercase e's. Tap them and say e, e, e when you find each one. The lowercase e's are in red. Did you find them all? Good job! Look at the letter E. Remember how it looks. We will now look for the capital E and try to find it in words. Are you ready? What do you see? It's a girl's name, Iman. Can you see the E in Iman? Where is it? That's right. The E sound is at the beginning of the word. Do you see the capital E at the beginning of the word Iman? The capital E can only be at the beginning of the word. But did you know that the small e can be anywhere? It can be at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a word. Let's go look for the small e. Are you ready? What do you see? B. Can you see the small e's in B? Where are they? That's right. The E sound is at the end of the word. Do you see the small E's at the end of the word B? What do you see? Tree. Can you see the E's in tree? Where are they? That's right. The E sound is at the end of the word. Do you see the small e's at the end of the word tree? What do you see? Eat. Can you see the e in eat? Where is it? That's right. The e sound is at the beginning of the word. Do you see the small e at the beginning of the word eat? Okay, good job. Now it's good to give your brain a little break after doing lots of brain work. So let's do a brain break. This brain break is called blink and snap. You will blink or close your eye and snap your fingers or click them. Are you ready? Blink with the left eye and snap the fingers on your right hand ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then switch. Blink with the right eye and snap the fingers on your left hand ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! You have learned so much by now about the letter E and its long sound, E. Do you want to find words with the sound E in a story? Let's go to part two.